Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to create a simple month calendar program. You know the formula. The formula is sum of date plus month code plus year lost two digits plus division of lot lost two digits of the year and the century code. And I add these two header files. And now go to the main function. Now take the variables day, comma month, comma year. And the day is the number of days in the month which means begin from 1 to 30 to read the month and year from the user we use month and year and s equal to 0 is used to the sum the formula and send code is the century code and temp year is the to take the last two digits and day number is the e which means which day it was like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and now take a array named week which is 2 ID array and 7 is number of days in a week and 10 is limit of the string like s u n d a y is 7 letters in the string is up to 10 code take a loop named as a begin and print a message on the screen enter month and the year between 1600 to 2099 and read the data by using scanf person d comma person d and ampersand month comma year now take the century codes by using these conditions if year between 1600 to 1699 and the century code is 6 if year is between 1700 to 1799 and century code is 4 and similarly up to 2099 if the year not between 1600 to 2099 it prints a message try again after that statement it's go to the begin which means which is asking again the question enter a year between enter month and year between 1600 to 2099 and to take the last two digits use temp year variable which takes the year into the temp year and temp year equal to temp year percent 100 which reminds the last two digits of the year now take a function named month cal with parameters parameter 1 is days and parameter 2 is month code and take a for loop inside this function which begins from day 1 to day less than or equal to days according to the month and increase to day by 1 after the looping s means sum of the formula which stores the summation of the formula and day number equal to s percent 7 which divides the sum of the formula by 7 and stores the remainder in the days number printing day month year and the day of a week by using printf day month and year printed by using percent d and day of a week printed by using percent s which is a string and now this code is run again and again when it is called and the function is called from the cases of the switch statement and now go to the switch statement there are 12 switch cases in the switch statement in the first case we see a two functions for leap year and and this is for non leap year for the leap year 31 days and 6 is the month code for the non leap year 31 days and 0 is the month code and the case 2 is February in the leap year number of days is 29 and month code is 2 and in non leap year number of days is 28 and month code is 3 similarly for each and every month we using number of days comma number of sorry month code these are the these are two parameters passed to the function month cal and now remove the lines by using comments
use zip break at the every end of this statement in the switch case and save this code and I now run this code enter month and the year between 1600 to 2099 and now I giving wrong like third month and 3000 year it shows a message try again and go to the first statement enter month and the year again and now I entering fifth month 2020 2020 and it prints a calendar of the 2020 today date is 21 fifth month 2020 today is Thursday hope you guys like this video like share and subscribe my channel thank you